Hello, my name's Alan Moore. Welcome to my workshop. This is a video about fitting some glass scales to my Myford ML7. I had a look on YouTube um, and I couldn't really find many videos about fitting glass scales um, or anything on the internet. So I thought I'd give it a go. Seems to have worked out. So here you go. Now, must warn you, this is my first video, so it's going to be a bit rough, but please bear with me. So the first scale was the easy one, which is the X scale. This is a 500 millimeter one, um, which I got off eBay. And basically it's just mounted to the bed where the taper attachment would be. So I've just drilled and tapped two five millimeter holes in the bed and bolted it straight to the bed. I had to put a uh, distance piece, a couple of washers this end because the actual mounting face for the taper attachment sits proud of the bed face. But all you got to do is drill and tap it and then level it up. So that was that. The reading head somewhere here reading head slides underneath and I've just used a piece of 10 millimeter thick aluminium bar just to distance the mounting point for the reading head out a bit and um, so it matches up with another bracket that fits on here which I'll show you in a, in a minute. Now for the y-axis bought a length of 50 mil by 10 mil aluminium bar off eBay I bought a meter length not too expensive. Cut it down to size 315 mil, which is the right size for the 100 mil glass scale that I've used. You can use a longer scale if you want. I've found that the 100 millimeter, which gives you about 120 millimeters of travel, is enough um, for what I use the ML74. But if you need a bit more um, travel, you can always use 150 mil glass scale simply fitted to the cross slide drilled and tapped three five mil uh, m5 holes counts on carron screws screwed to the side and there's three clearance holes so you can still get to the gib adjustment screws so with that in place next bracket goes on here again piece of aluminium Get a load of these brackets that come with the glass scales so you can cut those down and use those. So drilled and tapped M5 into here. So there's that bracket and then there's a drop bracket. This drop bracket is for the reading head on the X scale. So this carries the reading head on the X scale. So basically Brackets fit together like that. Don't take any notice of the relief there. I made a bit of a cock up with the measurements. So I had to cut a relief out so I could get these screws in from the top. So you don't need that. So again, that's just a bit of the uh, 10 mil by 50 mil. And on the back of there are a couple of micro switches, which are for the electronic lead screw, the powered lead screw. Uh, I'll do another video about that. So that just goes on, that just goes on there with a couple of M5 count sunk Allen screws. So use the right Allen key more. Just put one in for now, just to show you. So that bracket goes into there like that. Then for the glass scale, another piece of the 50 mil by 10 mil. The bottom of these uh, reading heads have got four, I think they're M3 or M4 tapped holes in them. So it's just a matter of drilling and tapping. Um, sorry, drilling. 
the plate and then screwing it to the to the reading head like that and then this fits underneath here another in this case four I think these are M4 no M5 again iron screws countersunk keep everything level so you don't keep your uh, like that obviously there's four of these I'll just stick a couple in just for show right so that's the bracket <coughs> that holds the reading head stationary and then again a couple of five mil this time cap head screws with a couple of washers on them which not the right one this time which attach the glass scale itself to there all in there somewhere there we go obviously all, the, all this needs leveling up when you've done it um, you really want to make sure that that's level and also that you've got an even gap there um, but basically that's it there we go so you get almost the full the full travel uh, so you get 120 in fact you get 120 millimeters i think the tr full travel is about 140 so you're losing 20 millimeters but it's really outside that's really outside the range of what i i use anyway so Coming back down here, I don't know if you can see. So moving round now to the mounting of the reading head on the X scale. Here's, here's the reading head with that um, spacer block on it. Here's the drop plate that I spoke about. So two, again, five millimeter metric holes in there. And it's just a matter of, uh, of bolting. And get me hand in the way. There we go. So it's just a matter of bolting the reading head to that arm. Right, so there's the reading head for the excess it's secured, as you can see. Move backwards and forwards like that. So couple of things to think about when you do this uh, clearance for whatever you're going to use on the uh, tail stop this is the biggest thing that I've got which is the uh, 16 mil 16 mil 13 mil 16 mil chuck um, so that slides over there just you could cut this bit out I could cut this bit out if I needed to just here and uh, give a bit more room um, the other thing is to make sure you've still got access to the lock, lock screw underneath here, which I have. Uh, and that's really about, about it. Quite simple to do, not too expensive. I think they run out about 50, 60 quid, probably 30, 40 quid for that and probably 60 quid for the, for the longer one. Um, the bitter bar, I think about seventeen pound, and that's and that's it. So I hear you say, what are you using to actually read the scales? Well, what I've got is Touch DRO, which you can find on the internet, um, which is a little box that you plug your scales into, and that wirelessly connects to an app on tablet so as you can see hopefully you can see there's the x-axis from the top 
power axis in the bottom. Either that or you can get uh, from the place that you get the scales from on eBay, you can get a uh, like a tablet that comes with it, um, a DRO readout. Can't remember how much they are. Uh, it probably works out about the same price. But I've also got this set up, so I've got glass scales on. I've got a Sieg SX2PG mill. I've got glass scales on that. So I'm using um, one touch DRO connection box um, to connect the two uh, sets of scales to with a changeover switch. So either mill or lathe. Um, and then there's two configurations on touch DRO, mill and lathe that you can choose because obviously the lathe's only got two axis and the mill's got three. And you just swap between the two. Seems to work absolutely perfectly all right. And the good thing about the glass scales over the cheaper um, magnetic scales is that they're a lot more, from what I've read, they're a lot more accurate and they don't miss steps either. So I'm quite happy with it. Anybody got any comments or questions, please feel free. Say it's my first video. I'm very new to this. Um, so if there's any advice that people can give me, then please do. I'm going to do another video. I've um, fitted a motorized lead screw to it with a windscreen marker motor which I've already done on the mill. That seemed to work all right. So I've had a go at doing it on the lathe as well. Although I have got a Clow, Clough Clow 42 electronic lead screw kit, um, which also does um, thread pitch. So you don't have to use the change gears, but I haven't got that wired up yet. I just wanted initially just a simple motorized feed so I could get a better, a better finish on the jobs I was doing. Um, and that also allows me to have uh, electronic end stops with micro switches so that it doesn't overrun either end. Anyway, I'll show you that in another video. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, see you again soon. Cheers.